Hello, Internetians! My name is Josh A.K. Ultra Player, and I am your coach of the West Virginia Mini Wars. Welcome back to the United Battle... The... God. <laughs> I got it right for week four, guys. Don't worry. Welcome back to the Ultimate Battle League. This is going to be our Season 3, Week Number 5 battle. We're taking on Frosted and her Copenhagen Sawsbucks today, so be sure to go check her out in the description below. Now then, why is there no team builder, you might ask, if you watch my team builders? Uh, reasons. Uh, so this... Uh, I'll get into it later, but... Uh, since I'm very uh, much expecting that Frost will be one of my opponents in playoffs, should I, uh, we both make it, which I don't, I think we'll both make it. I don't really reveal all the sets that I'm bringing because uh, this is probably the best team I um, can bring, or one of them. And uh, nothing, not a lot got revealed on both sides. So with that being said, I'm gonna keep a little, some of my stuff under wraps, and then uh, hopefully that'll come in handy later. But um, you can see the six mods that I've decided to bring. Uh, I'm actually having, I actually have her pause. There we go. You can see the six mods that we've both decided to bring. I'm bringing my Thunder Assyrian, my Tentacruel, my Porygon Z, my Mega Sceptile, my Settle Steeler, and my Mesprit. Well, she is bringing a Mega Deancey, a Hariyama, Matang. That is a Incineroar. We have there a Zapdos and an Adon fan. So, uh, scary teams on both sides, but I'm going to lead off with my Thunderous because uh, my Thunderous uh, actually is packing some stuff. I don't remember what you're packing. I also don't remember the team. Because it's been a while. So I can pull that up right now. So the team. I'm leading off with my Thunderous because it beats just about everything on the team. And it was mainly there, I think, for something that didn't come. But that's not important. Uh, so I'm going to lead off the Thunder Steering. We're actually going to see the Mega Deancey lead, which is not good. Uh, I actually do take a Power Gem because of my investment and the way her speed tiers work. So I know I could take one Power Gem, but I don't want to take a Diamond Store. And I want to scout to whether or not she would stay in and go for the Diamond Store. So I'm going to switch out to my Celesteela here. That is my best possible switch into this Deancey. As he is actually going to switch out into, or she is actually going to switch out into the Zapdos. And, uh, yeah, that's not, that ain't too, too good. So I'm going to switch back out into my Thunderous, which can take this on because of the Volt Absorb that I do have. And HP Ice isn't going to do, you know, crazy amount of damage. It can always fire back a really strong Thunderbolt. But uh, we're actually going to see the U-turn. So right off the bat, I'm actually going to be in a very, heh, not the greatest position. Uh, as she's going to be able to bring out that Deante that she knows now scares me out. And I am going to switch this time out into my Mesprit, uh, because my Mesprit will be able to, for reasons. I'm not, I, again, I don't want to do, go too much. My Mesprit is physically bulky, uh, and I can potentially get some momentum out of this turn, because I also packed the U-turn. So, uh, we're going to see that she is actually going to go for a set Diamond Storm, which is good that I switched out, because I don't take a Diamond Storm. And uh, it's going to do a decent amount of damage, you know, decent de Good, good chunk of damage, and we're gonna actually see the defense boost, which isn't the greatest, but I do have special attacks on my Mesprit, so it's okay. Uh, so here, I'm gonna go for the U-turn, as uh, she isn't gonna bring out her Matang, which I'm perfectly fine with, because I can go out to my Thunderous. And going out to my Thunderous is really good, because I can get a lot of damage off on this, should I want to, and this is good for weakening for my Porygon Z. At this time, I was also talking to my boy Aaron while I was having this battle, and because I was talking to my boy Aaron, I actually let this... Uh, turn go to timer, so it actually selected Psychic for me, which was very, very much not good. Uh, selecting Psychic was uh, a big oof, I I'll say, having that happen. And I was like laughing with Aaron, like, dude, I'm not paying, I, I need to stop talking to you, I'm not paying attention. But it actually worked out well because it lured her to stay in, thinking I might be Scarfed or something, and I'm able to get this huge Thunderbolt off and do so much damage to this Metang, which is a really big problem for my Porygon Z, because my Porygon Z can actually just completely obliterate his team. So, and she's gonna switch out here. As I predict that switch out, as uh, I'm pretty sure that the Dawn Fang can come in. And I'm going to U-turn out into my Sceptile. My Sceptile is really nice here because even after the rocks, I know that I take one Ice Shard. Unless, I believe unless she's Max Attack Adamant and a Boosting Item. No, I think she just has to be, have Boost. If she's a Boosting Item, she can kill me with Ice Shard, maybe. But I don't expect that. I expect more of a bulky one. And I can just bring out my Mega Sceptile and take Giga Drain. I don't want to take Leaf Storm, which I do have. Because I'm bringing a Special Sceptile. I really wanted a Special Sceptile. But I'm going to click Giga Drain here and get up um, almost back to full to get rid of that Rocks damage, which is nice. Because as long as I'm at full or very, very close to full when I come in on Rocks, I can always check the Dawn Fan because the Dawn Fan can't kill me with Ice Shard. Uh, so Giga Drain can come off here. And uh, because I don't want the Incineroar to come in for free, I'm going to go for the Dragon Pulse here. Because Dragon Pulse is the most damage it can do to the Zapdos or the uh, Incineroar. But she is actually going to... Did it freeze? Oh, that was weird. Uh, Dragon Pulse is actually going to knock out this Metang, which is really nice. Uh, she is going to bring in the Incineroar, I believe, which is correct. Incineroar comes out, 
and I'm going to go out into my tentacle because my tentacle can check this thing and take any hit, one hit. And I can also fire off the skull that I want. I can uh, outspeed this thing. I also have haze in case it goes for SD. And she's actually going to reveal something really interesting. She's actually going to go for the Z Snatch, which is, um, you know, something. And, uh, yeah, so Z Snatch is something that I ran a lot in IBL with my Hoopa. It gives you a plus two speed boost and lets you steal the opponent's move. However, I didn't see it say right there it boosted its speed. I thought it would show the speed boosting right here. And because I didn't see that, I thought it was uh, at neutral speed because it failed as she goes for the sword stance. Because I thought that I would outspeed her the next turn, I was thinking, oh, it's okay if I go for Toxic Spike here. And it's not okay if I go for Toxic Spike here because now she's plus two, plus two, which is very, very bad because my tentacle is not, you know, the bulkiest thing in the world. It's not good on physical bulk. But, um... Uh, that, this is all very not good because she actually has the knockoff as opposed to something like Darkest Lariat. Uh, Darkest Lariat, I would have actually been able to potentially live, which would have been allowed me to get off a Haze. But unfortunately, that's not the case. I'm going to go to my uh, Porygon Z here because if she goes to the knockoff as opposed to Flare Blitz or Fire Punch, I actually will live it and be able to knock this thing out with the Breakneck Blitz. But unfortunately, she has the Fire Punch and she's going to be able to knock me out and you can already see where this is going. <laughs> your boy, uh, your boy's getting 5 0 script again. Which is very unfortunate, because I had a lot of pride in this team. And a lot of pride in just this league in general. And this is my second week in a row getting 5-0 swept. And uh, that's very not good. But prep, props to her for the prep. And shout out to me for being an idiot and not seeing the speed. Because if I would have seen the speed boost, I would have just gone for Haze immediately. And got rid of her speed boost. And then I could have checked this thing any day of the week. Right? With all of my offensive mons. Porygon Z has said and knocked it out. Uh, tentacle got damage off. Etc. Etc. She also brought Fire Punch just to Flare Blitz so that uh, Recoil wouldn't be a thing. But it's very unfortunate that I had to give you guys another short video because I got obliterated again. Uh, very, very, uh, I'm very sorry about that. But unfortunately, that's just, uh, that's just how life goes for me sometimes. So that's going to be the game versus Frosted. Actually, I might have one more. Yeah, I have one more Pokemon. That's going to be the game versus Frosted. Very unfortunate. Uh, next week is even more unfortunate because we're going to get obliterated again because we're going against a very, very good player. So one of my favorites in the community. And uh, yeah, so tune in week six when we face off against Goldoa Dragon and his New York Napoleons. Uh, sorry that I'm getting my butt whooped, but uh, you can't win them all, right? But that's that. Sorry for such a short video. Sorry for your team builder, but next week I got you, team builder. And I'm going to pick up a dub versus Goldoa. I'm going to beat him in like, I don't know, two days is when we fight, I think. So, hope you guys enjoy.